I think New Zealand is uh, doing a fantastic job in landscape architecture, particularly exploring the, uh, the overlap of different cultures that have impacted and affected New Zealand over time. Really finding a way to bring a voice through design to the different cultural aspects of the landscape. Internationally, I'm seeing very hopeful signs that people are tired of the generation of pattern makers that just add lumps and mounds and stripes to the landscape and that the landscape should be about more than that. We have so many powerful stories to tell um, about place and the history of place. And I think that um, very graphic kind of landscape architecture that intentionally pushed away from history and away from ecology is really ending. And we're in a new, a new generation of designers who care very much about the stewardship of land and the stewardship of story. Um, key factors facing the industry at the moment uh, really I see are declining budgets for maintenance globally. Um, as people want, you know, are less willing to pay rates. I, I know in the United States everyone's arguing for tax cuts, but no one connects the fact that if you cut all the taxes for city funding, that means they'll cut park maintenance and management and we start to have a decline in the quality of the public realm. So this is actually a crisis for landscape architecture. One of the things we've been working hard to do or try to build uh, sort of novel relationships for funding. How can we get volunteer groups and public-private partnerships to start to support the public realm to a greater extent? Um, these are creative ways of trying to deal with what is actually a crisis. When I come to the conference in April, one of the messages I would love to bring is how uh, a commitment to history can inspire very creative contemporary designs that are in service to history and story, but they're in no way nostalgic or trying to recreate a moment in time. And when you interweave those stories with the stewardship of ecology of place, you have a very rich palette for the creativity that can shape a piece of landscape architecture. I also uh, would love to bring to the conference examples of how 16 years of working in New Zealand I've learned so many things here that we have now applied to public parks in the United States including using livestock uh, to graze the public landscape which is against the law in most cities and states in the United States ironically um, and I was you know deeply inspired by Cornwall Park and the terrific management they do with sheep and cattle of the open space